there are five core services that you must learn in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. That includes identity and access management, compute, networking, storage, and databases. Networking out of this is one of the most important, at the same time, most challenging service that you must know. What all things you must be learning as a part of basic networking services? That includes VCNs, subnets, different type of gateways. You must also learn load balancer and then the advanced networking like transit routing hub or VCN local and remote peering and also what all hands-on lab you must perform as a part of networking. I'm going to cover all this in part two of five part video series on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Welcome to another weekly video with me Atul Kumar from team k Academy where we take you on your journey to Oracle Cloud starting from complete beginner that's foundation to associate that includes architect operations or developers to all the way professional which is 10997. Now before I cover this topic too about networking including basic and advanced networking if you have not seen the first episode of identity and access management basic and advanced where I covered users, groups, principal, compartment, policies, and tags, including federation with three parties, Oracle IDCS, Microsoft Active Directory Federation Service, and Okta in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, then have a look at ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI 13. I've covered all this in the first episode. Now let's look at the second topic that you must learn, that's networking, that covers both basic and advanced networking. Now this is a network diagram and if you're coming from no networking background initially it might sound a little bit cryptic but it's totally doable and easy to understand. So let's try to understand what all things you need to learn and understand in networking for OCI architect certification. So let's assume this is a network so you need to understand what is a network or virtual cloud network or VCN. These networks are typically broken down to a smaller network which is called as subnets in which you create your resources like virtual machines or databases. So the subnets can be private or public and the secure applications like databases, I'm going to put them into a private subnet. Then I might keep my load balancers or end user facing resources like load balancers in a public subnet. Now these machines in different subnets needs to talk to each other and this is where we call firewall or security list in OCI terminology or you can also create network security group. Now your end users might be accessing these load balancers from internet and for that you need internet gateway or IGW or you may also want to access your OCI directly from on-premise and this is where DRG that's dynamic routing gateway comes into picture and you can connect from on-premise to OCI via DRG either using IPsec VPN tunnel or you can use fast connect. So you must learn about IPsec VPN tunnel or fast connect in networking for OCI. And the final piece in this puzzle is the object storage, which is used to store the data for backup purpose. So any databases or Linux Windows machines backup, you store them into object storage. So you take this backup via a component called service gateway, which is to communicate your OCI services to another service, which is object storage. So in a nutshell, you need to understand from a networking point of view, the virtual cloud network or VCNs, then you need to understand the subnets, then you need to understand the firewall, which is nothing but your security list or network security group. Then you need to understand few different type of gateways like internet gateway or dynamic routing gateway. You also need to understand the connectivity like IPsec VPN tunnel or fast connect or the route to go to the object storage that service gateway. And then there are some advanced networking topics. Apart from that, you should also be learning about load balancer, which takes the traffic from client and distribute it to the multiple backend servers for high availability. If you talk about advanced networking, you should be knowing about transit routing, which is where you have multiple networks on Oracle Cloud and you want to connect these multiple networks on cloud with on-premise. And this is where you can use hub and spoke model, which is called as transit routing. And there's a concept about local peering, which is connecting these different networks within a single region in OCI. Or if you want to connect your multiple networks across regions, this is where you will use remote peering. So you understand about local or remote peering. Now, if you want to talk about the labs, then you should be doing all these like things like creating VCN, subnet, security list, service gateway, network, dynamic routing gateway, route tables, 
and all these configurations you should be doing and similarly for advanced topics and you want to get a full list of all the hands-on you must perform in order to clear the certification or we cover in our training program in order to learn like an expert then have a look at ketonacadby.com forward slash 1001072 well that's me atul kumar from team ketone academy talking about networking where you should be learning things like virtual cloud network different type of subnets that public and private subnet then security list which is nothing but firewall internet gateway to connect to the internet second gateway which is drg dynamic routing gateway to connect to the on-premise two methods to connect ipsec vpn tunnel or fast connect and then to connect to object storage another gateway which is service gateway you should also be learning about load balancers and there are two different type of load balancers public load balancer and private load balancers then the advanced topic like transit routing where you have hub and spoke model peering which is connecting two vcns locally within a region called local peering and across regions which is called as the remote peering then the list of all the hands-on labs that you must be performing now whether you are a new to oracle cloud or have been already working and not yet certified i highly recommend you to be oracle certified and especially in architect line so the certification for that is oci architect associate which is 1001072 i highly recommend you to have this certification even if you are not planning for becoming an architect because this certification will give you overall picture about the oci and everything that you must be learning so if you are interested to know more about this certification i run a free 90 minute session with another cloud expert amit where we discuss about everything related to oracle cloud architect associate certification that's 1001072 we talk about who this certification is for we also talk about these five skills which i'm talking in these five part video series that you must be doing and the certification exam i'm also going to talk about the eight week framework that we have built over the past 3 4 years by teaching and training hundreds of students successfully not only for certification but also for job so that you can shorten your learning within eight weeks going from complete beginner to an expert in oracle cloud infrastructure so these are some of the topics that you should be learning so things like which cloud you should learn and why you should learn cloud now what are the solutions available on oci and who all customers are using oci oci architecture covering region availability domain fault domain high availability in disaster recovery we will also cover why certification is important and the road map of for the certification for oci what all things or what all certifications you can cover and the most important part is i'll be answering all the questions that you may have related to either certification or job related to oracle cloud infrastructure so if you're interested register for a free 90 minute class with me and amit at ketonacademy.com forward slash 1001072020 where 101072 is exam number and 02 is just a number well that's me atul from team ketone academy talking everything about networking that you must learn and if you're watching it at any other place apart from our blog i'm going to put more information about this networking if anything changes anything new comes at our blog which is ketoneacademy.com/oci14 or oci14 now in the next episode which is part 3 of five part video series i'm going to talk about compute we'll look at three different type of compute which is bare metal virtual machines and dedicated vm host we'll also look at different type of shapes and when to use what you should also be knowing about oci architecture which is a region availability domain and fault domain then other thing is availability options then some of the other task is that you must be doing like create instance image type boot volume console connections and the hands on lab that you must perform so we'll see that in next episode